Welcome to our guide to desktop publishing and Scribus. Over the next few minutes we'll tell you about desktop publishing and give you an overview of how it's different to word processing. We'll take a look at Scribus, the leading open source desktop publishing application. You've just seen a couple of examples of magazines created with Scribus. We're going to draw a couple of text frames to start off with. Desktop publishing, or DTP, is all about layout, not content. Whether you're creating a leaflet, flyer, newspaper, magazine or CD cover, the approach is the same. First, you get your content, text and graphics, and put them in a folder on your computer. Your DTP application isn't the place to create content, its job is to do the layout. Think about your layout before you start. Here we've used some sample text that comes with Scribus, in this case from Bram Stoker's Dracula. We've created two text boxes and we're linking them together, so the text automatically flows from one to the other. Next, we're adding a picture. Notice that the picture itself isn't too important at this stage. We're concerned about how it displays, not what it is. At first, the picture frame covers up some text. That'll need fixing. We'll change the shape of the frame. Rotate it. Tell the text to flow around it, and give it a black outline. We'll also tell Scribus to scale the picture to fit in the frame. Finally, we add the picture itself, though we could easily do that later. Notice that the picture is 72 dpi, or dots per inch, normal resolution for displaying on a computer screen. That's fine if we don't want to print out our end result, but if we do, the graphics will look blocky on the printed version. For anything you want to end up printing and looking good, you should aim for at least 200 dpi resolution for graphics. Image manipulation software like GIMP can do that conversion for you. Earlier, I mentioned the importance of keeping content and layout separate. This is all about your workflow. We're used to opening a word processor and starting to type, worrying about how it's going to look later. That's fine for word processing, but for desktop publishing you achieve much better results with a more structured approach. Here we're creating a new style called headline. A style is just a way of bundling together different characteristics of text. How big it is, which font, which colour, how squashed or stretched, whether bold, underlined, centred and so on. Using styles allows you to easily make sure the text you want to look the same, such as different headings, really does. A common mistake people make when starting out with DTP is to think, wow, look at all these fonts, colours and shapes. They're there, so I better use them. They end up with a leaflet covered in different fonts and colours and it just looks a complete mess. Spend some time looking at commercial magazines and newspapers. You'll see they use a very limited range of fonts and colours and they use white space effectively to separate different areas of the page. You don't need to put boxes around everything. In Scribus, we can have lots of elements on the page. Text, headlines, shapes, photographs and pictures. Here, we want to put in a background colour, so we create a big box. At first, it comes up black and on the top, covering everything else like a blanket. We move it to the back first, but now we've got black text on a black background, so we change the colour. As well as moving individual objects forward and back, Scribus supports layers. Think of a layer as a see-through sheet you draw on. You normally just have one, but you can add layers and then turn them off and on. Say you want to do two versions of the same leaflet, just with a few changes. Use layers. One for everything that's the same on both, one for the parts for the first version, and one for the parts for the second. Only display the ones you want and create your two leaflets. Finally, having resized the text boxes a little, notice how the text reorders itself between the two boxes, we're going to take a look at how the finished leaflet would look if we saved it as a PDF right now. We've got colour separation turned on. This is a feature for professional printing, where some printers want the cyan, magenta, yellow and black, or CMYK elements sent separately. Each one gets printed over the last to make up the final image on paper. Scribus supports a whole range of options, useful for professional printing. Let's take a quick look at a few pages from the Scribus website, www.scribus.net. As Scribus is open source, you can download it for free and install it totally legally on as many computers as you like. Looking at the website tells us that the software is being actively developed and has a community using and supporting it. The site also has a lot of useful and pragmatic information about desktop publishing. No DTP software will create great publications for you. 
What Scribus and others will do is give you the tools you need to create them for yourself. But, just as owning a calculator doesn't make you a maths genius, owning a DTP package doesn't mean you can create professional quality magazines. Look at what the professionals are doing and learn how to achieve similar effects. Think about what you want your creations to achieve, to inform, sell or entertain maybe. Get your message across.